What's up, ballers? We are back with our last pack opening of NBA Live Mobile. So we got a couple stacked up. I literally have no coins on this account. Actually, you know what? I do have a few that I could collect. So we're going to go here, see how much our bench sells for. You guys are going to see there's actually a lot of elites that were sold. But they were all sold for like 101 coins or at least 10k or less. So we're not going to get a lot from it. Maybe enough to get like a couple lineup packs or something like that. But other than that, no real coins. I do have a King of the Court pack that we are going to be opening up. Obviously, we're going to try to save that for last. And we're pretty much going to throw a ton of players into sets wherever we can and try to... Uh, Get a couple extra packs, so we're going to be able to afford 10 more pro packs, it looks like. Actually, you know what? We're going to switch it up and go lineup packs, so we will... Mm, oh, my goodness. We will buy... Let's see. We'll probably buy one of each for four of the lineup packs, and that is going to be it for the packs that we can buy from the store. And then we're going to go ahead and hop into it, so I don't think... Actually, I'm pretty sure I looked through this the other day and tried to find stuff that I could put together. The only thing that might be remaining would be, yes, these silver and gold rare player packs. So I'm going to go ahead and open these up right here. We get a Sam Decker Chinese New Year card. Don't really care about these gold objectives collectibles, although I think we can still throw them into the set and get those Summer Quartz packs even though the program is over, I'm not really sure why we still get those collectibles since the program did end a while ago. So we're getting some more Chinese New Year players in there. Typically the silver packs aren't quite as good as the gold packs, but that's alright. We just kind of enjoy going through them, seeing these old cards. We saw a Balloween Nick Young right there. Most likely not going to have a Balloween program this year. As I believe the game is going to be launching on November 1st, the day after Halloween. So that is unfortunate. We get a Movember Miles Plumley right there. Once again, very nice, very nice. Um, so basically, QJB hinted at that in his video about unboxing the tablet that was given to him that had NBA Live Mobile 18 on it. So I am 99% sure that that is the day that the game is going to be released. So we've got that to look forward to. Hopefully some content coming from the Game Changers sometime close in the future. So I'll be on the, I'll be on the lookout for that as well. Definitely going to have reaction videos for all of those. So stay tuned for that. Ooh, that was a nice gold player exchange pack. We had a Bradley Beal, Eric Gordon, Aaron Gordon, and Seth Curry. I believe the, the Aaron Gordon back in the day sold for a good bit, but now it's not really worth anything. The gold player packs have always been my favorite by far. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. If this had been like during the regular season, I would have made so many coins off that pack because all those rising stars, I believe, are active rising stars players, which means they sell for like 100k plus. That would have been crazy. And now they have no purpose. Wow, these packs are kind of juiced right now. We get some league versus league players. I guess we've got more silvers than I thought we did. Which is nice because these are some of my favorite packs in the game. Alright, that one was dry and that's going to be it for the silvers. So now we're going to hop on over to my items. Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to leave the Summer Quartz packs alone and open pretty much everything else besides those. Since the Summer Quartz ones are pretty boring. We do have a few silver player upgrades that we still need to do. So we're going to go ahead. Why am I Why am I opening that? That's not what I meant to do. We got some gold, some silvers. Then we'll get to the final pro packs of the year. Oh my gosh. There's a season veteran in here. Oh, I think I can do an elite season veteran exchange. Oh my gosh. I didn't know those were even in there. That is crazy. I'm actually pretty hype about that. I have only ever opened one season veteran pack, and I don't think I've ever opened an elite season veteran exchange, so I'm going to be able to, oof, that's going to be nice, let's go, that's what I'm talking about, wow, we got really lucky on the last day of NBA Live Mobile, another one, back to back season veterans from gold player packs, and we get 80 Bernard... These packs are so juiced right now. I wish I would have opened more. 
I don't think they were this juice back then. That is, that's so crazy. All right, where's the season veterans? Season veterans, there we go. I have one elite trophy. Oh my gosh, I've never <laughs> opened this pack. What in the world, oh my gosh. Could this be somebody that we want to put in our legacy lineup? Here we go, three, two, one. Hey, 85 Paul Pierce, okay. So, not terrible, but not great. I was hoping for a John Stockton because he does not have a lot of cards in the game. That would have been pretty cool to see, but still a nice pull right there. We get an elite season veteran pack on the very last day of NBA Live Mobile. That is crazy. All right, we got our last pro pack of NBA Live Mobile. We get an out of position Bill Lambeer. I can work with that. Last two-way pro pack of NBA Live Mobile. All right, we get a double gold. Actually, I think we're guaranteed a double gold. I could be wrong on that one, but I'm pretty sure since this one is more expensive, yes, it does look like we are guaranteed that. And then we will be moving on to our final King of the Court pack in NBA Live Mobile. Here we go. Big Man Pro Pack. Nothing special in that. Our final good pack. I'm going no look. Reveal all. Here we go. And three, two, one. Give me something good. Give me like a 90. I'm feeling a 96. 96 All-Star Steph Curry. All right. We can see the edge of him. It's small ball lineup. I have a feeling this is 94 Chinese New Year Jeremy Lin, who I would actually consider putting in my legacy lineup. Oh, no. Oh, we go double elite. Oh, we get LaMarcus Aldridge. Okay, so it's a 95, but I already had him anyway, so I was hoping for something new. We didn't get anything new, but that's all right. So that is going to be it for our final pack opening of the year, guys. Hope you did enjoy if you did, drop a like down below. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see lots of NBA Live Mobile 18 content. We are going to be pumping it out for sure, and I will see you guys next time.